Hey guys, Jade here, your go-to nerd with AffordableCool.com, and today we're taking technology outside. I'm here at Temescal Canyon in Los Angeles, one of the most beautiful hikes you can get in the area, just off sunset, really close to the ocean. It's gorgeous. And we're gonna take Google My Tracks along the way to see where we've gone and use that data to check out our tracks later on. Now, Google My Tracks is pretty amazing. What it does is with every step that we take on this trail, it bounces a signal up to satellites in the sky and back down to our Android powered phone so that we can keep track of our progress through the entire hike. Now at the end of this, I'll even show you how you can use those tracks, share them with your friends, view them in Google Earth, and even track your progress over time on your own favorite hikes. But you iPhone users out there, don't worry, I got you covered as well. We got a couple of apps at the end that I'm gonna showcase for you too that you can get the same sort of mileage out of. So we're gonna first start by opening up Google My Tracks on our Android powered phone. Now it pops up and the first thing it's gonna do is read our own location, again, using that awesome GPS technology. Sure enough, finds us here in Temescal and we're gonna ask it to start recording our tracks now. All right, put the phone in our pocket and we're off. Come along. Water in the spring. Oh, look at those. Ah, oh, check that out. That's beautiful. Yeah. You should snap a photo. Yeah, sure. It's a really nice view. Ah, great shot. So can you somehow integrate the photo with the app? Good question. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up my tracks, just like we had earlier, and we're gonna add a waypoint. And a waypoint is basically like a marker that says, at this point you did something, you wanna keep track of this point. Right. Obviously we've got a photo here, we wanna see where we took it. So we're gonna mark, open up Google My, Google my Tracks, and we're gonna add a waypoint. Simple as that. It's saved and we can reference it later. That's cool. Slick, huh? Let's keep going. All right. Cool. Yeah. Oh, finally some shade. I know. Doesn't the breeze feel great? Excellent. The waterfall is going to be right at this peak, right through this canyon. And there's water, thanks to the rains this season. We made it. Look at this waterfall, it's beautiful, huh? Gorgeous. I can't believe there's still water. So let's take a quick break here. We're gonna recharge our batteries for a little bit and check our progress with Google My Tracks. So let's pull that up. We can take a look now and see exactly how far we've come. So you can see it's tracked our progress all the way up to the waterfall at this point. And we can kind of get a bit of a view as to where our path is gonna take us next. Oh, look, you can even see the waypoint that we checked for that photograph oh, we took yeah, earlier. Nice. Cool, huh? Great, so we're just gonna leave it recording. We're gonna hit the trail up at the top and we'll see you guys back down at the bottom. So yeah, it's gonna show you all your stats. Mm -hmm. You can view your tracks and everything. We're gonna take this home and upload it and see it. Great. Cool, let's do it. Okay. Beautiful hike. Thank you guys for coming along. Awesome day for it, wasn't it? Absolutely. Cool, should we take a look at where we want? Yeah, let's do it. Awesome. The day that we took via my tracks, we can now upload and view in Google Earth all of those satellite signals being bounced back and forth from our phone to the sky allow us to do this. So we'll take that data and we can actually zoom all the way in to California. There's the bay and we can see where we've actually gone. Now that path in blue is our hike from today. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah. So we can use the same data to actually take a look at our altitude, see the speed. We can see that we've gone about six and a half kilometers on this hike, about 90 minutes. Beautiful, beautiful time. Now I've taken the same data. You remember all of those different photos that we took at the waypoints along the hike, right. and we're able to match those up with Google Earth 
to see what Google thinks of the same views. So what I've done here is taken the photos that we took from those different waypoints along the way. Here we are again with that beautiful view over downtown. Mm -hmm. Such a gorgeous day. And we can match those up with Google Earth. So we can see the wow. data that Google Earth has on the uh, terrain of the planet really matches up well with where we've gone. Exactly. And we, exactly, and we can use that to really explore our paths all along the way. Now we've also been able to plug this data into an application on Yahoo's website via their health portal. We hiked for about an hour and a half today. Uh, we put that information in, we were hiking cross country. We can even see in that hour and a half, out of the gym, away from the lines, we were able to burn about 900 calories. So great workout, gets us out of the gym. We used some cool technology to see where we were going, and come on, it was a free workout. You can't beat that. Now for your iPhone users out here, I've got you covered as well. Uh, MyTrax is an Android application, but for $2.99 you can get a program called Outfront, or for $0.99 cents, you can get a program called MyTrack. Both of these work great for the iPhone and do a lot of, a lot of similar tracking as MyTrax does. Outfront even integrates with the Map MyTrax website, so you can view a lot of detailed statistics on your outdoor activities from hiking, cycling, running, walking, and even exploring the rest of the city. I'm Jade, your go-to nerd at affordablecool.com or you can follow me on my blog at go2nerd.blogspot.com.